Is it recording? Yes, ma'am. We recorded this video like two days ago, and then when I watched it back, it was all in slow mo and there was no audio on it. So we're just gonna act like we just didn't already do this video, and we're gonna do it again. My name is Stacy. My name is Lalo. Welcome to our channel. YouTube channel. Um, this is probably gonna end up being a podcast at some point, but until it's that, it's gonna be a YouTube video. A YouTube channel, I mean, yeah. So we're just gonna do our makeup on camera and we're just gonna chit chat patty whack like we normally be doing, but we're gonna film it. Per. Um, last time I didn't know if I was gonna do a smoky eye or not, and I didn't do a smoky eye. I think today, do a smoky eye. Should I? I don't think I'm gonna do a smoky eye. Really? Loki, I think I'm going to. Smoky eye? But I wanted to try this. I was gonna do a video of me trying this, but. Okay, I'm just gonna try. Like it's like smokier than normal. But sometimes when I do this, my eyes look fucking humongous. My eyes already, you? yeah, my eyes are already so fucking big. Maybe I won't do that actually. Hers, she put contacts in to make her eyes look like that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm I, gonna try to do UK baddie makeup, bright under eye, make my lips look a little bigger, bronzer, blush, you know the vibes. You're gonna do what? I am going to try to look as 2004 emo as possible. Um, I never am able to actually get that look though because in 2004, 2005, bitches used to just like shave their eyebrows, make it look skinny, and then put on like BB cream and then mad eyeliner. And they used to eat the fuck down. It used to like look like, bro, I was talking to Layla about this the other day. Y2K now looks so like manufactured like we're we're trying to look y2k mm -hmm. y2k in the past just looks like you look like why y2k per, like you don't look like you've tried to look like this this looks so like five minutes yeah. your makeup took five minutes and you just look like you're a blast from the past mm -hmm. like when we were in that emo place and we we're watching the video that, with that girl with the big blue eyes yeah her makeup looked like she took five minutes some blush some lip gloss a little bit of mascara but she looked so white to care yeah. and if i, I tried that you know what i think it is though in the early 2000s wait i low-key just realized i don't have my glue so i'm gonna grab my glue so we don't uh, just give me one second i shaved the ends of my eyebrows off <sighs> y'all always ask me for an eyebrow tutorial i can give y'all one but on the days when I feel like recording an eyebrow tutorial, I don't feel like doing my full face. So at times I just want to give you guys an eyebrow tutorial and then like that's enough, wipe it off. But like I need to come with to y'all with the full look. Otherwise, what the what the fuck? What am I doing? I realized I also didn't have any of my sponges. Um, what were we talking about? You were saying in the early 2000s. You know what it is in the early 2000s? Oh yeah, everybody used to shave the absolute fuck out of their eyebrows. I feel like that's what really like made it it give like i remember that one day that you did your makeup and you didn't like your eye makeup but your eyebrows were super skinny and then you put big ass shades on and you looked so 2000s because your eyebrows were skin tea really yeah well 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 I, I'm, I'm gonna try unfortunately the ability to speak and draw our eyebrows at the same time yeah they don't coexist <laughs> so we're gonna do our eyebrows off camera we're gonna come back with eyebrows done in three two one. one. Alright, we're back. Eyebrows done. Eyebrows on fleek. The fuck? fuck? That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for <laughs> watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell down below. That's how they do see to me. Mad aggressive with it. Okay, her. I love having paper towel on the table. <laughs> Just like wipe it all off. Oh, I had a topic that we could talk about. Oh, propose that. Let me uh, up the that. camera. So many minutes. <laughs> Don't worry. We have all the time in the world. Oh, post it on social media hours after you've left where you are. Oh, I think that's a good thing to do. I The other day I saw my little brother post that he was at a coffee shop and I told him that I hope that he posted this after he left and not while he was still there. You know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. When I first saw like people talking about that, I said to myself, who do you think you are? Like, you think somebody's really looking for you? But then when you really think about it, there could be somebody really looking for you. I look insane right now. There could... Guys, the makeup gets worse before it gets better. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there could be. You never fucking know who's your op and who's out there to hurt you. Like, you could think somebody is your fucking friend, but in reality, they're like out to get you. 
So posting on your story after leaving where you already were is definitely reasonable. Honestly, it just like, it doesn't even make sense to post while you're there. Like, why are you posting? Why do you want someone, like social media is so weird. Why do you want somebody to know where you are exactly when you are there? I heard of like in the early 2000s when people used to like blog or like, I don't know, a Tumblr post or... Mm -hmm. What the fuck was that shit they used to use? There was like some kind of like a social media that people used to use back then. The Tumblr? I don't know. I feel like I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what it's called. And it was like, it just looked seen as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like you could customize your page. Bro, if you're 30 years old and you're watching this, you probably are fucking so annoyed with us right now. Because you know exactly what we're talking about. Is it MySpace? MySpace. Er. Yeah. But yeah, like people used to like fucking say everything that they were doing and everything they were going to do on their MySpace. And men used to like follow girls and find where they were and fucking kidnap them because they were fucking tweeting and MySpacing everything that they were fucking doing with their day. And it's definitely, now that I think about it, a reasonable fucking thing for you to do. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. Don't post where you are when you are there. Like, uh -huh. just leave first. Enjoy the moment. Live in the moment. You truly don't know people's intentions. Like, it just, no one needs to know. No one needs to know that you were there, when you were there. No one. Um, there's something else we were talking about over there. Oh, um, bro, whenever me and Layla sit in the house by ourselves and we chit chat, we have so many things that are just like so, so funny. I'm not gonna say I'm not, not in the cocky way. I mean, I'm in the cocky way. We're funny as fuck. Um, and uh, today we were like, let's just try not speaking to each other until the camera's running so we have shit to say when the camera actually comes on. Mm -hmm. Um, so the other, oh, like 10 minutes ago, I was thinking about like corny things people do. I remember one thing that I said, but I can't remember the other one. I feel like you're gonna remember. But I was saying that, what? Which one of these is darker? They're not the same. Ah, the, this one's darker. This one? They have different undertones though. The honest peach undertones now one's like orangey. Oh, well, it's too late now. Go but ahead, what were you gonna say? I think it's so corny when, when men, uh, and I hate, I hate to start off on this foot, I really do, and I hate men podcasts, but when men, like when it's time to like get married and then they, they say like, oh, speak now for everyone hold your peace. And then the man like draws a gun at the audience on some like, nobody, nobody better speak. Everybody better hold their peace. Like, does anybody have anything to say? Like, threatening the audience. It's just like, this is supposed to be so like sentimental right now. And you're making it. And like... you're making it embarrassing. <laughs> like, we have to watch this wedding video a couple years from now, and we're gonna see the fact that you, you pulled a gun out. On top of that, branching off that fact, when, when they're like, oh, you may now kiss your bride, and then there's this viral TikTok video where the the groom tells the bride to wait. Oh my god. Did you just there get There goes that fucking light. It is what it is. Then the, the broom, broom, broom. <laughs> the groom, <laughs> the groom tells the bride, wait one second, and then looks at his groomsmen, and they all like get him ready. Like one of them gives him breath spray, the other one fixes his hair, the other one fixes his tux, like make sure he's all good. Like the moment has passed. We get one kiss, one. Like, of course we're gonna kiss all the time, but we got this one kiss that's like the kiss and you chose to do that. And what is your bride doing while you're- while She's you're just standing that? there looking stupid as shit waiting for you to fucking finish all of that nonsense. And it's like, bro, I would feel like, I would be like, you know the standing emoji? Yeah! That's what I would look like while I'm waiting for him to do all of that stupid ass. I get, I look like you were trying to do something cute and funny and quirky, but it's just like- Thing is, it wasn't cute, funny, and quirky. It was only cute, funny, and quirky in your head mm -hmm. with your friends. You and your friends thought that shit was funny as fuck. And then, is this a moment for me and you, or is this a moment for, for you and your bros? bros? You and your bros have had your own bachelorette party or bachelor party before the day of the wedding. This is a me day. Men, what the fuck? Men, bro, men will always love their fucking bros. Like, no, that was genuine. If you think about it, genuinely, who actually found that funny? Because eventually the audience stopped laughing at you and your friends. It's going on for so long. You know, like, okay, we were talking about how, like, it would be different if, if he just was like, oh, you may now kiss the bride. One second. How's my breath smell? Good. 
bet. Like, but this man went all the way down his groom. He had party. like all eight of his grooms. What are they called? Groomsmen. Groomsmen. That's what that's what they're called. I think so. All eight of them like fucking do something different. To I don't even. Shit was just really fucking stupid like, to be honest. Now your and your wife is standing there like this. Her dress is fucking tight. Her heels are hurting. She's fucking hunchbacked, and she's just waiting for you to finish with all your friends. <laughs> If it was her, I would have sat down. Can you have the, you may now kiss your groomsmen because mm-hmm. you want to have a good time with all of them. Please, please, get out of my face. That's what I think is corny. Mm-hmm. How to get that one off my fucking chest. If you are my future husband and you start doing some dumb shit up there. You know what's crazy? When you were saying that, I was thinking, yo, if my future husband does some shit like that at the wedding, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. And we're just, you know what? I'm going to pull this video up for him. After we go back home, I'm going to pull this video up and be like, <laughs> Just no. Years ago, this is how I felt about that dumb ass shit you just did, and I still feel the same fucking way. Like, there's just no way. This this wedding is going to be documented for our kids to watch in the future. And you just pulled out a fucking gun and then ran around and <laughs> had your <laughs> had your <laughs> wife this fix your hair. <laughs> the sequence of events that had nothing to do with nothing. Sequence of events, bro. Like, are you are you serious? This wedding is supposed to be even before God. Like, we're doing this in the church right now. <laughs> God is watching you behave the way that you're behaving. Mm-hmm. Can you please, out of respect for God and, and the fact for that me. respect for me and the fact that your parents who raised you and think that they raised you right are sitting in the front row, can you behave yourself? The gay- Like, what are you doing? You sit down, men. And the thing is, you can't ever stop them from doing some dumb shit. I think, I think when I finally have a husband, I'm gonna be thoroughly embarrassed by that husband uh-huh. on multiple occasions. I think, I think it's just something we're gonna have to come to terms with, because men will always just—it's like they never fucking <laughs> grow up. <laughs> There's an eyelash so far in my eye right now. Oh my god, this shit burns. <laughs> I'm about to just let that shit rock. Um. Yeah, as I was saying, men don't grow past eight over. Some fucking man is gonna watch this and get real fucking angry about this fucking video, but in advance I'm gonna let you know, fuck you. I don't really don't care what the fuck you have to say. But it's just do you ever grow up? Do you ever um you know realize mature goofy and, like I don't think they ever put one and two together and realize that shit. It's really embarrassing. And the fact that like I know I know, you know what's crazy is that I know that when men introduce their girl to their boy like oh who is she like mm-hmm. and then they show them the instagram pictures like this is her i know they don't do any defending i know they just like this is her um you could look through her instagram uh, but you know when girls show their girls it's pictures, like it's like wait wait wait, 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 wait yeah. like a picture wait hold on, hold on. yeah yeah it's like don't look the rest of the account yeah just, just look at this picture this one picture he's really cute he, he because just, yes he did do that but he also he, he does that like we do so much vouching for the guy mm-hmm. i feel like boys don't they just and we have to sit there like I feel like if I if I had a man and then he did some weird ass shit I have to sit there every single day and like when I'm talking about him and be like Layla, yes he did that one time that you were there for and I know he did that but listen he is a good man so then <laughs> he is a good man no because wait that made me think of something you know I'm trying to listen to music and talk to you at the same time it's just not I fucking happening off. it's just <laughs> not happening um I had to just take that off what the fuck were you just saying. Um, how we have, like, we have to, like, mad budge for our men when we do have... Oh, yeah, and I know, I feel like, maybe I could be wrong, but I've just seen this happen before. Like, a nigga will, like, show his friends the picture of the girl, and they're like, I mean, if that's what you like, bro, that's... Mm -hmm. And the man isn't gonna be like, the fuck is that supposed to mean? She's a bad bitch, like, he's just like, ah ha ha, bro, like, you're... Come on, bro, come on, like, it's like, you don't even defend me? You don't even fucking... What the fuck? Men just really love validation from their boys. And I feel like, you know what? Let's fucking talk about it. Oh, I just fucking spit. Men love to talk about how bitches don't have no loyalty to each other. Bitches are so quick to cut each other off. Because if a bitch does something weird, I'm going to fucking cut her off. Your boy has fucking stabbed you in the back 16 different times. And he's still still your fucking boy? (laughs) The fuck? Men are just like... Oh my god, let me wash my mouth because I want my mom to watch this video. Watch my fucking mouth. Hi, Royal. But yeah, it's just like, okay, maybe I am a bitch, and maybe I did cut off my girlfriend because she fucking said some weird ass shit the other night. But your boy is just not shit, and you are still friends with him. You know what? The say the thing is, men do 
be like less quick to cut their boy off than women are to cut their girls off but i think it's very weird to me sometimes the way women cut their friends off they will cut their friends off for doing the smallest smallest thing and i have done this before but i'm glad to say that i'm healed and i finally got rid of that demon from my body you know but it's like niggas will cheat on you disrespect you like mistreat you mm -hmm. you know they don't treat you like a man should you're not getting the treatment that you deserve from this man at all mm -hmm. he treats his boys better than he treats you but when your girl is like let's just say like talking about her nigga too much or like you know you're just so quick to ah uh, she's just bad annoying or uh, she just did this weird shit at the club the other day like and just cut her off and then the man you will sit there and you will listen babe i just didn't like the way that you did that you're not gonna day. tell your girl the way you yeah did yeah it's i think it's a little bit weird i think it is weird especially when they stay with the man who does them dirty but they're so quick to cut off the girlfriend mm -hmm. but i feel like i can confidently say i don't think i've ever done that and you could tell me if i have because i don't know it's not coming to me I, I can't think of a time where i haven't given a girl and a boy the same amount of chances like it's like mm -hmm. okay third time now you're both getting fucking cut off. Like, I'm, and I'm also very quick to cut off anybody. Like, it's not like, I don't know. I feel like I do it very equally. But if you can think of a time where I haven't, let me know. Nah, off top. I, Layla's very quick to cut everybody off. Sometimes <laughs> a little bit too quick. Sometimes a little bit too quick. Too quick before she didn't analyze the situation, she, they're cut. Like, I literally, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I think just like, I don't know why I give niggas so, or men so many chances. I feel like, can I use your contour? Yes. This is my contour. Okay. Um, I feel like with men, it's not even like I give them a lot of chances. It's like, I mean, I've definitely stopped. Since, since the last time I've, I have been with a man to now, like I'm a different person, right? So I feel like, I would I, like I'd be very quick to cut the person off now, Stacy. Now, but maybe we do this with men because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to find a um, an explanation for mental illness. I, you know, you know what? I truly will never understand why that happens, like why girls go about stuff like that sometimes. But for me personally, it's always been like my mom is always like. She has a saying, um, I'm gonna, I don't even know if I can say it in Somali, but I feel like I've told you before. If you put your hand in a hole and a snake bites you, are you going to put your hand in that hole again? No. So, everybody's getting cut the fuck off. You looked at me sideways, boom, not speaking to you no more. You did that, boom, not speaking to you. Like, that's just how I've been my entire fucking life. And it's definitely caused me a little bit of drama in my lifetime, because bitches are always like, the fuck? Why, why'd you just stop speaking to me? And it's like, because you did something fucking weird, bitch. And I didn't like it. You know what? It, yeah, no, it'd be, it, it'd be, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be causing me some drama in the back, bro. It'd be causing me, and then I'd be riding so fucking hard for people bro. Like, to fucking do it. <laughs> I'd be riding so fucking hard for people, and it does not need to be done. Can we talk about it? Bro, go ahead. No words, we're not going to use Yeah, names. no names. Um, one time, one of our old colleagues um, was, <laughs> was, was messing with this person and but it's like one of those like you know when you know when your friend like talks like oh i don't like that man like 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 don't like i don't but i'm trying not to cuss but basically fuck him basically and then they go and when they're in their own privacy like just them and that man they're so like mm, this is my man my man my man like it's two different narratives happening when they're with the man versus when they're with their friends mm -hmm. so i think that's what was happening with this girl no literally because she was very like in our face she was very like oh i don't want to mess with her like um i don't want to mess with her she just she ain't shit this on the third but then when the girl was like in the room in the room with her all of a sudden it's a different vibe so um so then so then, so so to me and Layla, it's giving like f that girl, like f her till it's backwards, like she's so she ain't shit to you, da da da. But so Layla's like running with that narrative. So when the girl finally like invites, she invited us to like a party or something. The girl who ain't shit apparently, according to our colleague. Um, when she invited us to a party, Layla basically took the phone on some like. Bitch, fuck, fuck you. you. We're like, not coming to your fucking party. We're not, she said, we're not coming to your party. We don't want nothing to do with you. You're not weird. And, and you're, you're so, you're mean to my fucking friend. Bitch, fuck you. 
And then that bitch went to the fucking party. The, our our <laughs> colleague went to the party, forgave the girl. Like, and so like all of us were at the party and Layla was in. And Layla just it was the one who ended up looking like a weirdo because she rode mad hard. When I tell you I didn't say anything when she was, when, when, she, when we all got the invite to the party, I didn't say anything because I knew our colleague was going to end up at that party too. And mm -hmm. I would look like boo boo the fucking fool if I Me stood up Me personally, her. once I like, and I said, I said this earlier, I'm very quick to cut people off. So if I was in her shoes and her boots, I wouldn't have been at the party. And then all, also out of respect for your friend, no, yeah, yeah. I just made myself look like Boo Boo the fucking fool. <laughs> and you went to the party? Yep. I look stupid as shit right now. And you don't, you have no fucking respect for me. You let me say that shit. And she was laughing too. Yeah, she was but kicking she was the fuck like, up. She was also like, thank you for standing up for me, Layla. Then went to the party. So now this one looked like a dummy. And even her sister went to the party and I went to the party. Like, and but I, I look mad stupid now. But you look stupid because she didn't go. Not because me and your sister went. She looks stupid. I looked stupid because she went. Cause oh, she no, no, no. Went. Yeah, because she went. Yeah. You guys had nothing to do with the situation. Yeah, yeah we were out of it. We, I did not say You guys weren't even like that. close with her like that. It was me who was close with her. Yeah. But exactly. After that day, I was like, I really need to pick and choose my battles because I don't need to be fighting for everybody. Yeah, bro. In the moment I told her, I was like, Layla, I think you may have done a little bit too much. But then she was she was very like hyped up. So she was like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Fuck that. She's my friend. <laughs> fuck. Just for your friend to be at the function. Hey. Bro, when she told me, when she was getting ready for that party, I was looking at her like, huh. <laughs> and then she was like, do you want to come? I said, do you think I want to fucking go, bitch? I just checked that bitch like crazy. I'm not going to her fucking party. I literally, I don't even remember what the fuck I said to her. It was, it, I wasn't a dickhead. Like, I wasn't mean, but I was just like, kind of mean. okay, I wasn't a complete <laughs> asshole. And she, was, she invited me to the party. She invited us to the party. And I said, we're not coming. LOL. That's what I said. And yeah, no, <laughs> you're a dickhead, bro. And then on top of that, she's a white person. So she's so like, you know, like. I feel like I can be, I can have like a little bit of an attitude when it comes to like Africans because they just know Africans, you know, we say things with a little bit of aggression sometimes and it is what it is. Get your, like, like, harden up. It's okay. This is a white person. I feel like they're just so fragile. And you said, hey, you're weird. Everybody's getting the same smoke. For me personally, everybody's getting the same fucking smoke. I don't give a fuck. But I did feel really stupid after that day. There's like other things um, I want to say right now, but I'm going to keep them to myself. Maybe one trust day I'll actually share Yeah, I think my song is telling me not to say these things that I'm not to say. Yeah, trust your judgment. Um. Anyways, moving on. So funny. But yeah, <laughs> that was that reminds me of when we first filmed this video. We were talking about how. What was it again? There was like a prompt that said that women, women, women. Oh yeah, how it's girls supporting girls until there's a boy involved. Yeah, that's basically the. the I don't know. Girls support girls until a boy is involved. Basically, like, girls ride for girls, and then when uh, there's a boy involved. Bro, I just said it, like, fucking four times. <laughs> Bitch, we got the prompt. Move on. <laughs> um, yeah. And I think it's so funny, because when I, I posted a video talking about how my, I got my ass whooped in Ghana by a bunch of men, grown men, probably, like, 45-year-old men. Um, I told that story already. We don't need to really open that wound again. But when we're talking about that, when it, I posted something on, on TikTok, on Twitter, that was saying, like, just got my ass whooped outside this club, like, don't come here, basically. And the amount of women in my DMs telling me to stop looking for attention, like, it's okay to stop lying about what happened, like, just, like, move on, basically. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I hope one of these men that you're riding so hard for picked you at the end of this. Like, you don't, you don't know me, you don't know the security guards, or you don't know the people who whooped my ass, so... You writing for them and you coming in my DM to tell me that, oh, you know, like, stop lying. You know, like, you know that you, like, who, you're a pick me. You're, you're pick me, you pick want, me. You want a nigga to like you so fucking yeah, bad that you had to shit on a girl and, and, and call her a fucking liar. Bro, I got my ass whooped. Any, any woman who gets their ass whooped by a man, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter what the woman did. Because sometimes we have it coming. But... It's still, we can still as a human race acknowledge the fact that that was an unequal, an unfair fight. An unfair fight. fight, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter, you okay? Maybe I was talking on my ass. I, I know I wasn't, but let's just say I was. For you to sit here from a, when you didn't, you were not there for any of it, and to mm -hmm. tell me that I deserve what I got and first to stop coming on social media to da da da. <sighs> Jesus. I hope you got the dick at the end of the day. <laughs> Sorry to if my any parents that are watching right now, but I had to. Yeah. Girls, pot and girls, it only goes so far. 
Um, I'm trying to think of like, I had, I had something in my brain and it left. I should start writing these things down. I mean, your hands are occupied. Yeah. There's nothing coming to me right now. Bitches are just bonkers. Guys, I want to go to another country because I was talking about this to Layla. Oh my god, it's hot as fuck. Really? You know hot. No. It's the menopause. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I'm the one who's having heat flashes. <laughs> wait, actually, wait, can we talk about this? Yeah. My, me, Stacey, actually today, I woke up this morning feeling so fucking depressed. Like, I woke up this morning and I was like, what is the meaning of life? And um, then I came out here and like, I was just laying on this fucking couch, fell asleep, laid on the beanbag, fell asleep. Like, I was just like so fucking sad this morning. And I was telling Stacey and so we went on a walk. And then we came back and I was like hyped as shit. Like running around this fucking kitchen, screaming and shit. And then like five minutes later, I was laying down and I was just like, I feel like shit. Like it's like, and that's just how we be getting before our fucking period. No, real bad. And I'm scared because when she be feeling like that, I feel like that like a week later. Mm -hmm. So I'm not kind of coming. And so, and my period is like, Stacey said, it's like as if I'm literally dying. I get heat flashes. I, oh my God, you're already setting your face. Wow. Um, how much charge does Kara have? I'm looking at that. It says 74, I think. I thought it said 74, but the bars are too little for that to be 74. No way. Like you don't see the bubble that you... Oh, 14. Yeah, see, that's I'm going fast because I don't have to try Okay, to okay, okay, okay. Let me... Fuck. In. Let me lock in. Yeah. What the fuck was I talking about? Periods. Yeah. I don't even know. Something you said made me remember that. <laughs> ASMR. Can you hear it? I don't know if they can hear it, but I can hear it. Look at what my face looks like when I'm setting my face. Wait till I set my face. Um... Damn. What? What did you say that made me think of that? I don't know. Guys, my period. Um, I've never taken birth control because I'm so scared to take it because people always say that they it fucks them up. But like, if there was something I could do to stop the fact that this comes every month, I would do it. Wait, birth control completely stops your period? It should, or it like reduces the amount of time it comes for. That is really crazy. Like, a lot of people take birth control not to control birth, but like to stop the period. Oh. That like just shut the fuck off. It is what it is. To stop the period mm -hmm. or to um some people have really bad acne. Birth control controls their acne sometimes. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. Nobody thinks that's odd that you're taking a pill that stops your period. What about all those fucking eggs that are in your uterus still? Where the fuck are they going and they need to go somewhere? I know some people. My do I do I not understand the logistics of a human body? Um, honestly, I can't sit here and explain it to you, so I I don't I, I don't understand it as much as you do. <laughs> if you guys could hit the comment section with some biology lesson real quick as to where those <laughs> eggs go, the ovaries are shedding, and where the fuck are they going? Yeah, your ovaries need to shed the 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 eggs. Like it's like, what's happening inside of your body now that you've taken this fucking pill that's completely put your period? Like what? Wait, hold on. I did not even know. One what time, birth control. One time we were on vacation, me and my family, and I, my cousin had her period. And my auntie put me in the bathroom with her and was like, bitch, I've never had, I haven't had my period in like 20 something, 40 something years. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know how to help her. You need to go in the bathroom, you need to help her. And at this time I'm like 18. Or maybe, you know, I wasn't 18. So I'm not really dramatizing the story. I was definitely like 20. But like, why am I teaching her how to put her thing in? Because you, hmm. Hmm. You know what's crazy? Hmm. I have never used a um, bra. I almost said thon. <laughs> um, a, a tampon. Ever in your life? Ever in my life. Some it's... people be believe that it like counts as you losing your virginity. No, definitely like, not. I, when I used to use them when I was like in like high school, or whatever, like younger, my there was a classmate of mine whose mom used to tell her like all your classmates who are using tampons, yeah, they're not virgins. So. I don't I think like, it counts unless it's literally sex. It, it doesn't count. What do you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you? What, what are you? What are you talking about? You you definitely have some crack right now. If you think that because I put cotton to to control my menstrual cycle, that now I'm I'm no longer a virgin. Me, I'm always a virgin. 
Even if I had sex, I'm still a virgin. I'm the virgin Stacy. All the time. Virgin Mary? Is that what the joke you were just making? Or? Yes, oh. ma'am. Do you guys have Mary? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that where Jesus came from? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Only we call him Isa. You guys believe that Mary was didn't have sex? Yeah. Yeah. Period queen. Period uh, period uh. Wait, bro, you know what's crazy? We're too calm right now. No, we are. Like. What, should we get active? S scream. Three, <gasps> two, one. Do you want to turn the AC on or is it going to be too loud? I feel like it might be too loud, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I look like a clown right now. We look pretty much the same right now. Wow, that's really crazy that we're on like almost the same amount of... Um... There's only 10% left on this camera though. We keep doing this to ourselves. It's called self-sabotage. You know what? You know what? <laughs> this reminds me of like um, whenever we're like late. But I feel like when girls get ready and they're like late and have like and they're like it's like chaotic. I feel like sometimes girls do it to themselves. Like I feel like it's it, okay, fun. It's part of the fun, but no one will like sit here and acknowledge that it's fun. Like everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, we're always late. Oh my gosh, I can't believe us. We're always late. What? And we're running around having so much fucking fun. In my head, I'm like, hey, this is this is definitely part of the getting ready. Um, as a girl. Yeah, getting ready as a girl. This is definitely part of the aesthetic is to be thirty minutes late. And all act like we're we're really angry about really this. sad about this. Like, oh, where's my shoes? Oh, the Uber's outside. Wait, why would you order that? I'm happy you ordered that. But add it to the moment. Add it to the drama of the, of the moment. <laughs> Did you say I'm happy you ordered that? Yeah. But in the outside, I'm like, why would you order it? I wasn't even ready. You know what? Sometimes I'd be like doing my makeup and getting dressed and... I just enjoy being a girl so fucking much. And then like being in a room with a bunch of other girls and it's like, like when you're getting ready or if you're in the car and you're, you have somewhere to be, like it's just like all the nonsense and hoopla that we be fucking doing when we're around each other. It, I just be sitting there like, wow, I'm just a girl in the world. Feminine. Like, I feel so feminine. I don't know. I just, I don't have any sisters. So times can get rough and lonely sometimes, but um, I didn't really know what it was like to like get ready like as a girl like with like I'm normally the only one you know and then I started living with Layla and then I was like oh okay what the fuck hold on and then I started getting ready with like her and her cousins and her sisters and then I have my best friend's name is Basha Basha and her sister whenever I get ready in their room it's just a different vibe but I didn't, I couldn't pinpoint what the difference is because we're a bunch of girls in our room getting ready like mm. and we're doing this fake ass like we have 10 more minutes Oh my gosh, can you help me put my lashes on? No, <laughs> what? It's just so feminine, that rush. The music be blasting, we cannot hear each other. No, literally. But we're trying to ask for help. Like, it's like, literally earlier today, me and Stacey were like trying to hold the conversation, but the music was blasting. Nothing in our brain told us, turn the music down so we can talk to each other. <laughs> no, we just kept talking over that loud, and we have all access to turn the music down. We're in our own fucking apartment, but this is just how bitches be. This is just how we are. This Look at my fucking room. All that cocaine. Guys, I'm gonna have, um, have you guys ever heard of clown lung? Apparently it's a thing that like, I think drag queens get it a lot because they use like so much setting powder on their face. And I swear to you, i have using basically the same fucking amount of setting powder as drag queens be using. Like when I come out of my room and I'm like, look right now, look at me, please. Like, come on. But I recently learned what clown lung was and now I'm truly afraid for my fucking life. And hopefully I don't get that. You won't. I rebuke it. It's not gonna happen. Not on my watch. Needs to do like a humidifier type of vibe. Guys, my, my older brother got me a pink humidifier. You know what's crazy? Before I moved to LA, I used to be in denial about my, the fact that my favorite color is pink. And so I used to like, I used to think I'm one of those like tomboy girls whose favorite color is <laughs> fucking green. And then I used to be like, whatever anyways, like what's your favorite color? And I'm like, green. Teal. Actually, teal is too feminine. Um, blue. Bitch, you like pink. Now I have pink mirror. I just ordered a pink phone case. Mm -hmm. um, my carpet in my room's pink. My humidifier is pink. Everything's just pink. And I'm really just embracing the fact that I'm a, I'm a Oman. A real Oman. Camera is definitely on 1%. But I'm about to say this. She 
sat there and looked me in my fucking eye and said, I don't like the color pink. And I sat there and told her, Stacy, get real. Get real with yourself. Please look in the mirror and admit what's actually in front of you. Now, everything in your room is fucking pink. I really just sat in that, in that. I had to sit in it. Everything's pink now. And it's not pink enough. But it needs to be more pink. Guys, this camera's about to die. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Should we just come back after we're done doing our eyes? Yeah, we're gonna come back when our eye makeup is done. We're gonna finish the base of our face when we're, the camera's alive again. Because we're just girls and we're so unprepared. We didn't, didn't charge the fucking camera. <sighs> I'm just a girl. All pretty and petite. Is that what she says? I think, no. I think she says, I'm just a girl living in. Damn, you sang that completely <laughs> through the lyrics out of my brain. <laughs> living in a what? Living in. Damn. She definitely does not say so pretty and petite. No, she definitely does. <laughs> no. She says, I'm just a girl in the world. And then she I'm says, I promise you I'll pull up the fucking lyrics right now, bro. Oh, she yeah. definitely does. You have like a couple seconds. Come hold on, on, hold on, hold on. My phone needs to unlock and does not recognize me right now. Um, I think it's living in something. Living in misery. Living in... No, definitely not. not. Okay, let's see. Blush it. I'm gonna blush. Yeah, well, because I'm just a little... Old, I'm just a girl, a little old me. Well, don't let me out of your sight. Or I'm just a girl all pretty and petite. Oh. That's my favorite part of the song. All pretty and petite. The way that you're saying it sounds so wrong. Off beat? Because I can't sing. <laughs> so pretty and petite. <laughs> I feel like Michael <laughs> Jackson right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? I feel like I'm moving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. That was actually the most interesting sneeze I've ever heard in my life. I'm supposed to come do my makeup in such a fogodare manner. But you know what they say about fogodare manners. What is fogodare? What? Fogodare. You are fogodare. When I was like in 8th grade, me and my friend Tracy used to think that that word is so funny. What does it mean? Basically like stupid, I think. Uh, are you a fogodare? We're on the same page, just we're reading the book backwards. <laughs> One of us is reading the book upside down. But yeah. Um... When me and Layla were talking about doing this, whatever the fuck this is, podcast slash YouTube slash will this ever go on the internet? Who fucking knows? Um, we were like, we should do a little segment that is called, you should have kept that to your fucking self. Minus the F word. So we're going to both share something that we should have kept to ourselves. That light just shot off. Um, wow. I left this big on way too long. Is it dry as fuck? Yeah. I'm gonna fix it, don't worry. Fix it. But definitely left that one for too long. Okay, do you wanna go first? Uh, I can't think of anything right now. Okay. Something I think um, I, I'm gonna share because it's just me and Lily here right now, nobody else. But I definitely should have kept this to myself is that honestly, I shit myself. <laughs> I said that I wasn't gonna share that and. Um, I did. On my 21st birthday, I definitely shit myself <laughs> on the drive home from a telly that I was at. Um, Shitting yourself at 21 is very crazy. On my 21st birthday, shit myself. I could not control it, guys. I want to tell you, bowel dysfunction was in full effect. <laughs> full effect. And I'm normally really good at holding like my, my bowels and my pee. Like I can hold it for extended periods of time. So this was definitely not like me. But wow, when I tell you... There was no stopping it, and when I walked into the house, my mom hit my butt and was like, Happy birthday, baby girl! I said, Wow! She put There's, that shit a right back of dookie ass. Booty. <laughs> There's a bunch of dookie on my booty right now, and you just <laughs> and you just put it right back where it came from. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead. Bro, that's so, I truly cannot. Oh, you know what? This isn't like a Hold on, one second. You need to match my energy on this one. Don't make me, uh... Wait, but there's like... I can't think of anything on that level that I've... Could have kept to myself. <clears throat> I 
This camera's on too. That's really fucking convenient for us. I can't, Stacey, I cannot think of anything. Like, okay. All I, okay, so basically, when we wrote this down, that we were gonna have this segment in the channel, I was thinking it was on some like, <laughs> I was thinking it was on some like, um, this is something that we've shared with people before. And after we shared it, we realized that could have been kept to myself. And so in my brain, I'm thinking like, I tend to over explain myself when I don't fucking need to do that. So I just assume like, everybody just saw what I just did was fucking odd. So now I need to go and apologize to everybody for my odd behavior. And then I go and apologize to everybody and everybody's gonna be like, I didn't even notice that you did that, bro. But now you brought it to my attention. You know what? One time, um, I was friends with this dude. Should I say it fast? Yes. One time I was friends with this guy and we were on the phone and he would like give me advice and et cetera and whatnot, right? And then the next day, him and his girlfriend and all of like our friends were all hanging out. And then I was like, oh yeah, we're on the phone the other night. Like, like on some like, we're really good friends. And he was telling me what I should do about the situation. But then after it came out, I, I promise you, I sat there unknowing that what I just said was weird. And then like three days later, one of the boys was like, do you know how weird that was, Layla? And I was like, wait, what was weird? And he was like, why the fuck would you say I was on the phone the other night in front of his fucking girlfriend? Yeah, I was the way like, he came out was like, like in front of the girlfriend. Oh my gosh, I was on your phone with your man all night. And that's oh. not how I meant for it to come out. I was truly just like, just talking about talking, he gave me good advice. Like I didn't mean for it to come out that way. And I'm so unaware and oblivious a lot of the times. So I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, he gave me really good advice. And then everybody else was like, Mila, that was really weird. Don't ever do that ever again. And I was like- Because it literally was, it was literally- Stacey, I really did not mean for it to But I don't think she even took it that way. I think, I don't think she did either. I don't think I she mean, did because she knows me, but I think if it was anybody else that would've been like, bitch, what the fuck you mean you don't my nigga all night? The fuck? <laughs> but I feel like her, she's such a calm person and she knows me, she didn't think of it as weird. She just was like, okay, anyways. Good yeah, share. Definitely, um, that one ate me up at night. Like, I thought about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> definitely felt really fucking bad for the girl. If you're watching this, you know who you are, and I'm very sorry. If you have anything that you think that you should probably keep to yourself, share it instead. Make me feel better about sharing the fact that I shit myself when I was 21. <laughs> Put it in the comment section down below so I can actually read <laughs> we can, things. We can make a video of us reading all of these things. That you should have kept to your fucking self. That's going to be our segment, yeah? And at the beginning of every single video, we're going to talk about the things that you guys should have kept to your fucking self. Because I know you guys have some more embarrassing shit than I do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> embarrassing. Actually. That's really crazy. Shitting yourself at 21. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is truly... Bonkers. I was trying to hold it so bad. And I was coming home from a telly and you did not. that my ex at the time was, oh my God. And I, like, I was driving home, the ride home with him was so long and then I finally got into my own car and then, wow, I'm excited. I'm happy the chopper didn't sing when I was with him. He doesn't even know that happened. And now he's gonna know <laughs> if he watches this. And if you're watching this, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Bet you didn't know you're gonna find this. <laughs> you know that meme when people are like me waiting for my friends to stop laughing at the good joke I just told? That's how I feel like when I'm in Layla all the time. Like sometimes I want to continue my story, but you're still dying laughing. Like it's because, like I'm done. Like I'm not laughing anymore. The room is quiet I'm already. Move on with the story. Sorry, but you're, you're like just, on the ground. You're just a very funny person. <laughs> uh, this makeup. Stacy, Stacy be making jokes and she just be using words that I've never even heard in my life. Like. And it just makes the joke that much fucking funnier. Like, like earlier, what the fuck? You said something earlier too. Like you said, I don't even know what she said. Poco but it, huh? Poco bere? No, like it's like, you just use really big words. Like even when you say like, please use your ablagula manda, whatever the fuck. Madula, madula, ablagada. Like whatever the fuck that is. Like that shit's funny to me. It's like, why or are scuff. you using scuff? I said there was a scuff on the wall. Yeah, bro. There was a bug on the wall the other day, bro. This shit's gonna cut off I'm talking. There was a bug on the wall, and she didn't realize it was a bug until it started moving. And then she's like, there's a bug behind you. I was like, no, fuck away. She's like, yeah, I was looking at it, and I was thinking, that's scuff. And I was like, who fucking says that? Who fucking thinks? You could have said, like, that's a mark on the wall. That's something, I thought it was like, you know, something happened to the wall. She said, I was looking at it, and I was thinking, you know, that's scuff. And you, you that's just how you talk, and it makes everything so much funnier. Sometimes I don't even register what I said was funny, and then this one I'm just waiting like this. <laughs> Until she's done laughing. 
Sorry, bro. I cannot control myself. Wow, I tried to do this, this makeup in the time we had left before I died again, and I definitely should have taken my fucking sweet time. Why? What happened? I just didn't even blend the pow some of my powder. Oh, we're definitely going to have to turn this off and come back, because yeah. I... Yeah, I'm going to have to pray about this. This is, is the situation. Is it bad? I can definitely fix it, but this is not how my makeup really looks. What? It looks really matte. I don't see anything wrong with it. It needs Jesus. Okay. I'm fed to you. Wait, why are you putting more powder on? There's a method, there's a method. Okay. I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna go plug this camera in. Again. I wish I wish I could see we were gonna do this yesterday. Oh, I got the plug charged on that. Are you speaking English right now? Fluent! <laughs> Fluent English is my first no, I want to language. Talk about come back. The other day, me and Stacy decided to go out, and while we're out, God, I don't even know where to begin. We need to go faster. Where do I fucking begin? Well, basically, while we're out, I, there's this one place that I go to all the time, and there's this girl who follows me around every time that I go there, and I just don't acknowledge her. Like I'm just like, you are following me into every fucking room, and I don't know what you want from me, so I just actively avoid eye contact and just i'm like oh, i don't know what the fuck you're doing and then she like basically like in this spot she, wow is that all your highlight or is that powder oh basically she'd be bitching on everybody at this spot all the fucking time every time that i see her and like to the point where like me and Stacey were standing there and somebody was like smoking a cigarette like we were outside so somebody was smoking a cigarette and she literally was like move and he was like i was here first and she was like move and did he eventually move I don't know, I wasn't thinking about this. Okay, anyways, but she just be bitching people around. So then she basically tells her friend to go do this, this, that, and the third. Her friend starts following us around, like, asking us weird-ass questions, like, oh, have you been to Little Tokyo? Yeah, I feel like I've seen you in Little Tokyo. And I'm like, I don't think you fucking saw me in Little Tokyo, because I would have recognized you, and I have not seen you in Little Tokyo. And she starts, like, You're five. touching up on Stacy in five seconds? Five. Five percent. Oh, she starts, like, touching up on Stacy, and Stacy's like, get off of me bro get off of me she's grabbing her hand and removing her body off of her and then she just keeps fucking trying and then she walks away then she comes back again and tries to like start dancing with us and so i'm like what the fuck do you want like what what is your goal right now what are you trying to accomplish and then she like tries to grab stacy's hand and stacy's like i have ocd so i really don't like people, random people touching me and then she says you're telling that to a person with autism and then i was like what? And so I was like, wait, sorry, what did you just say? She was like, I'm just saying, like, you're telling that to a person with autism. And I asked her, I was like, what is the correlation of her not wanting to be touched and you being an autistic person? Why do these two correlate? She's like, I'm just saying, like, you know, like, I would know if somebody didn't want to be touched. Like, I'm telling her, like, I have autism. And I was like, that didn't matter right now. Like, you didn't, that didn't. And it pissed Layla off. And it bothered the shit out of me. I was like, it didn't piss me off. It, it, I, it was like weird, but you know when you just can tell someone's like a cuckoo? Like, okay, I'm just gonna stop speaking to you. When she said it to me, I was just like, bitch, okay. And I just put my sunglasses on and moved on. It bothered me because it was like she was trying to use it as an excuse to like... Touch on me. Touch on Stacy, And it pissed me the fuck off. Like, I was like, you don't need to go. You need to fucking leave. You need so to leave. You, you need to leave. So she did that, I was like, <laughs> we're leaving actually. So we go outside and then we're waiting for our fucking Uber. And then this two okay, this boy walks up to us and he's like, um, I'm sorry, are you talking about my friend? And he was her friend. And I was like, no, nobody's talking about your fucking friend. And that shit just bothered me. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. There's a lot more to the story, but we really don't have the time for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you for coming to our YouTube channel and our podcast. Slash whatever the fuck this is. Make sure you guys like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notification bell down below. below. We'll leave our social media down, down below. below. And we'll catch you guys in our next video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys in our video. We didn't below. practice that at all. Yeah. Um, let us know what you guys want to see. And actually tell us what you want to keep to yourself. I really don't want to be the only one that shares something like that. The next video, I'll share something. Okay. I will actively think about something I could have kept to myself. Okay. You know what I was thinking about? Hmm. So aside note, when we're in that place that you were just talking about, I, I used to think when I was looking at myself in the mirror when I was wetting my hair, I was thinking about the fact that I like gate like not gatekeep, I treasure every single compliment that I'm given. When we were in that place, a guy told me I look like a limited edition Barbie doll and ever since I've been looking at myself like mm, mm, mm. and then some other guy in Ghana told me that I have such beautiful deep brown eyes. But when I was younger, this white girl told me that my eyes look like the pits of hell. And I used to like hold on to the pits of hell comment. Well, and then some now like guys tell me that the eyes are so like deep and brown, they get lost in them. And I'm like, 
Take that. <laughs> Take that, Nicole. I'm a Barbie, not your blonde ass. Me and my, my brown eyes. Like, I literally just look at my eyes. Like, I'm looking. When you were telling that, I was just looking at myself like, is it Kim Kardashian? Oh, is he? Oh, is Barbie? I'm a Barbie doll. <laughs> period, queen. Period, eh? Period. What did she say? Period, mm. Period, ah, uh, period, ah, uh, period, ah, uh, period, mm. <laughs> Thank you for coming, guys. We switched. I want to said, ah, ah, we said that was different times. Wait. If you watch it back, you'll see we. Wait, say that one more time. We one of us said period, mm, period, ah, uh, like we, we said it in different orders. Wait, but say it the way you just said. It. You said ah, mm, ah, mm. Something about that sound like a song that I've heard before. <laughs> when we watch it back, the way you just confused me by um explaining. Yeah, we're gonna see you guys later. Who and says we are going to sleep with all the makeup on? <gasps> My finger just almost got stuck like that. Like this? Yes. Yeah, it would have been swag forever. Forever. Bye. Bye, bitches. Stay we're acting like we're being held at gunpoint. Just because the camera's still running. We're acting like we still have to keep saying things. XOXO. Gossip girl. Kiss your mom. Kiss your dad. Tell them that you love them. Tomorrow's not promised. XOXO. Gossip girl. Not gossip girl. Just regular. XOXO. Period. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was reading my Bible and it said that God detests liars. I said, You. <laughs> oh! He detests yes. me! <laughs> now when I see what I'm talking about, some, something I just said was a fucking lie. I don't know what it was, but every time I lie, it just feels like. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Bye, bitches. Bye.